Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster, all the cells need to take this monster to rank 5, any gems I use will be reimbursed, and they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. Alright, let's take a look at Tyrant Skill, the mythic version of Master Skill. The leader of the skill still hasn't lost a shred of malice in his transformation. He's learned to play the long game to guarantee his interest and his armies. His alliance with Brigadier Holter is promising and he wouldn't want to ruin it, but his signature malice remains part of everything he does. Take a look at this monster. If you want to get him, you are going to have to purchase the exclusive Golden Pass. But take a look. This monster has five traits, and the last of which is an area nanovirus, which is probably one of the most powerful things he can give the enemy. At the start of the battle, nanovirus to all enemies, which means no positive effects for them. Such a good um, such a good torture effect, but let's start at rank 0 he's hardened, at rank 1 you are immune to possession, at rank 3 you do an area bleed, so that reduces the enemy's damage up by 90% and of course damage over time, at rank 4 you are immune to all control, not just the possession, and then you get that area nanovirus, so as far as the trait, I mean the fact that you're applying 2 dots to the enemy and one of which is nanovirus, I think that's powerful, as far as everything else the immune to control is going to come in handy right if monsters have control and I think we're seeing a bit more control, and the Harden is just a nice umbrella trait to have. A status caster torch immunity would have been like super super nice, but it is what it is. I already took the monster to rank 5, so we can't see the base stats, but that's fine. I normally bring out an Excel sheet and show you how he compares to other monsters, but I think we can skip that and just go straight into the skills. Alright, so, we have Skills Mastermind. Deals low amount of damage to an enemy and applies a random negative effect to an enemy. Zero sounds zero cooldown. We get the goods, removes positive effects from one enemy and all negative effects from itself. Okay, so cleansing, and it's double cleanse. The enemy and yourself deals no damage, so you don't got to worry about stuff triggering. Skill flu applies a random negative status effect to one enemy and nanovirus to the enemy. So some negative effect and nanovirus on top of that, also dealing no damage. Night incursion deals moderate direct damage to an enemy, applies guard down to an enemy, requires cooldown. This makes it so your attacks always hit. Conquers disease, removes positive effects from one enemy, then from all enemies, and then nanovirus all enemies. I like this kind of skill. Super useful against the status cast from Megaton monsters. Get rid of the Megatons. Get rid of positive effects from any residual enemies that don't have dodge area. And then everyone has nanovirus and are reapplying positive effects. Love that skill. We have Planetary Siege. Deals low dark damage to enemies. Applies positive effect blocked. Blocks positive effects, so like nanovirus, but no damage over time. And negative effect protection. This is interesting. We haven't seen this combination in a singular skill. So this protects negative effects um, applied except the status protection itself. So if the enemy tries to cleanse, this will effectively protect that cleanse. So they won't be able to apply positive effects and then they can't cleanse their negative effects. So very cool skill. Um, let's keep going. My, my biggest criticism, and it's been the criticism a lot now is with so many area dodge monsters and taunt monsters these aoe's unless they have pierce they're not beneficial but we'll see what we run into flank attack applies guard down shield block and the random negative status effect to all enemies so three effects two of which you know guard down so your attacks always land shield breaker basically which removes a block shield and then something random and then Road Barricade deals moderate dark damage to an enemy, applies negative effect protection and shield block to an enemy. Again, that negative effect protection. So, as far as the monster itself, I don't think it's going to be a meta monster. I don't think he's overall that great. In terms of the skills you're going to use, Conquest Disease for the Cleansing Nanovirus. We're going to do that Planetary Siege, so that's already two AoEs essentially. I mean, this one does single target. So we have one, we have two of our skills down. Negative effect Nanovirus, Guard Down... Let's see, guard down, shield, AoE, I don't think we need that. Negative effect, law, protection, I don't think we need that. Actually, yeah, the damaging skills I'm against. Um, Self-cleanse, especially when there's dots in the game, we get the goods, it's probably going to be useful. Applies random negative effect, those negative effects. Applies random negative and a nanovirus, probably this. So I would say this would be his best skill set. As you can see, only one deals damage and it's an AoE. So if this is the last monster alive and you're facing a dodge monster, ooh, you are not going to win unless that nanovirus slowly kills the enemy. Um, in terms of relics, what does this monster hold? So you can recover some stamina. Let's go with that. And you can drain enemy stamina. 
recover stamina let's go with some stamina drain although i don't think he'll be attacked much i would probably use this monster as a resurrection so he'll hold the black moon yeah so revive you needed um in terms of a setup for this monster oh gosh i'd say he's probably more of a single speed slash team speed holder and we'll do nines so single speed slash team speed so just to help out your teammates out, you need some sort of attacker on your team because skill is definitely not it, unfortunately. So Tyrant skill, if I was to do this, speed to team speed with this setup, um, Megaton monster, almost a must, right? And then I have Amania because she's usually my go-to to turn challenge to attackers, but in this case, she could probably be the attacker. So let's do something like for fun. Now, I think realistically we'd use a different attacker. Let's use a... I don't want to go Serpent Text the way I normally do. Cherub, Cupid, same thing. What should I do? I still have Michonne. Let's do, like, one of the Walking Dead monsters. Let's showcase them. Solaris' sword, and we'll give you... Um, what do we give you? Holter's gun, probably? Yeah, let's do the Holter's gun. Alright, this ought to be fun. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's click Fight. Yes, now for those of you new to the game, I am using a monster that was given to me by SP, so I will be exiting out of this battle if it looks like I'm going to be winning. It's not fair to win with a monster that was given to me by SP for the sole purpose of an exclusive first look. Alright, so the game starts, we have all of our dots, of course. Alright, and Fropsy. So Fropsy is one of those monsters. It means to freeze, maximum life increase, damage protection, megatons, regen. Alright, we look at this monster over here. Immune to freeze, regen. We look at this monster over here, immune to freeze, and that's it. Notice he has that nanovirus bleed. Ah, oh, that is glorious. All right, so the first main skill we want to go is Conquer's Disease. Let's slow this down. Let's attack Fropsy. Check this out. Conquer's Disease. We cleanse, and we cleanse from everyone else, and we apply that nanovirus to monsters immune to torture, unfortunately. But there we go. That's essentially it. You cleanse everything. It looks like that stays... I feel like that's always been a bug where that should be removed, but for whatever reason, it's it's permanent. All right, um, looks like I can OTK. So in this case, still a time monster. I have to OTK. I could go for a um, I could go for a stun. Looking at the turn order, so we're gonna go powerful fists. Stun is successful. Gotta watch out for him. He can turn transfer. Folding around. Nope. All right. So now what do I want to do? So turn two, I have the option of doing the positive effect block, negative effect block. I can remove negative effects from myself, or I can go for that Navarre's random effect. No dodge areas, so we're gonna do planetary siege. And there we have it on both of them. Um, hopefully they get a chance to use it. I'm just gonna recharge. And let's see what happens. So he tries to do juggling rocks, which is just a bunch of dots against me. Uh, three turns before death. Let's see if I can cleanse those dots away. Ooh, oh, I died. All right, the dragon. And here I, I think we'll just uh, we'll cleanse my negative effects away. Got the goods. Resurrect my monster. We click on my tyrant skill. Negative effects be gone. I'm assuming you have res. Res, res, res. No res? Did I skip it? Bottom magma. Oh, you don't. Or just recharge. So he's dead. And then recharge on his part. I just wanted to. I was hoping he would like apply positive effects to himself or something, but nope. But yeah, that's essentially tyrant skill. As you can see. Um, it's almost, let's open this up, start opening this up as well. I think realistically, yeah, in in any situation, other than that nanovirus at the start of the battle, I don't see players realistically using them. And here's a good example, when you, when you fight a permanent taunt monster, Conquer's Disease doesn't become useful unless you're, they have a positive effect block. Um... Yeah, I'm like, what do I do against you? I guess I can give you like three random negative effects, right? With planetary. Let's see what happens. Planetary siege. Do we got you block positive effects, negative effects, protection? Oh wait, I did the wrong one. I was trying to give you random negative effects. Oh, but I don't think I ran the AOE one. But there's that. Um, let's see what I can do. Eye for an eye. Oh my gosh, you are strong. I mean, I will hit you for that. I right, need return damage. And then we'll do this, double damage, upward slash, eye for an eye. Oh, we're close, we're close. Ah, oh, I'm out of stamina. Recharge, I'm gonna get killed. 
<laughs> ah, good old Serpentex. He's the reason monsters don't enter the meta. You can just pierce, AoE, monsters dead. There we go, GG. Alright, onwards we go. We'll do like one more battle. He's a straightforward monster again. I don't think he's needed. I like that nano virus, but not really needed. Here's another permanent Megaton monster. So, uh, not useful. We get the Geds first because I need to cleanse away all those dots. Alright, um, I could probably OTK you. I was hoping I could OTK you. Looks like I can't OTK you. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. I have for an eye, upward slash, yeah. GG. Mud. Yeah, and then, like I said, him by himself, there's not much for him to do. The monster design, though, I will say, it looks amazing. I love Tyrant Skill. If you look at my very first video, I made, we'll play one more just so I can give the story. If you look at the first video on my channel, it's like PvP. It's just PvP battles, the first team I used to use. Voltic, Master Skill. That was the team. Um, I think, was it... I don't remember the last monster anymore. Oh no! Was it UV? Was it turn transferring? Was it someone else? Whoever it was, but it was fun to use. So it's really cool to see him like this. Let's slow him down. Yeah, great design. Look at that brain moving around. Ugh. Alright, let's do this. So, that's actually good. I did another battle. So you can do Constant Seas on this kind of team because you have a Dodge Area monster, but you do single target. So you'll single target cleanse and then you still have that AoE cleanse. So that's always awesome. All right, let's see what I can do here. Those dots just eat you up, though. That's a problem. Let's do that. And then he'll cleanse enlightenment. That also sucks. Finish you off. Okay. Oh, you saw that, though? Um, you weren't able to apply... When he did the enlightenment, he wasn't able to apply the anticipation. So I was able to cleanse their effects. And sure, he was able to cleanse... But he blocked the positive effects, so it is a good counter to, um, to, to I was gonna say Galvatron to Galvanix, so that's cool. But overall, definitely not meta, definitely not needed. Yeah, because you gotta run him with some sort of attacker that has its own issues. Um, if you have a permanent, like I mean, if you run him with a Pierce monster, but then it's like, why do I even need skill? I'd rather run three X damage, two X damage. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on this exclusive first look on Tyrant skill. Hopefully, it helps you figure out whether or not you need this monster. Any thoughts in the comments below, thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.